Hi there. It is day five down here in Blairsville, Georgia. Um, big storm came in last night, so yesterday afternoon. Um, I'd say about half the hikers that came to Neil's Gap either decided to hitchhike or take shuttles into Blairsville, and I think some went into Hiawassee as well. So I chose to come into Blairsville, which I'm glad I did because Blairsville is a uh, pretty cool town. Uh, good people. Uh, it's raining pretty heavy today. I'm hoping that the rain passes by early afternoon so that um, I can get back out on the trail and get some miles in and um, <clears throat> be able to set up in a somewhat dry area tonight, but uh, we'll see. Uh, let's see, first, first three days were pretty tough. Um, before coming down here, I kind of had it in my head, well, I'm going to do this this day, do this that day, but um, once you get out there on the trail, it's um, it's like a whole, whole new ball game. Um, carrying a pack through the mountains is, uh, is pretty tough, especially if you haven't done any training or anything leading up to it. But um, yeah, first three days, pretty tough. Uh, day two, we were in thunder showers. Um, ended up going to bed in a wet sleeping bag that night. <clears throat> we got down to all the low 30s with a stiff wind, so it was, ugh, it was chilly. But um, made it through that. Um, day three was tough, just physically, just everything hurts, everything's in pain. But um, yesterday, yesterday was a good day. Um, it, it was kind of a turning point, I'd say. Um, legs started to feel better, shoulders started to feel better. Um, um, so that, that worked out pretty good. Um, let's see, two nights ago, two nights ago, we. We were headed into um, a place called Jared Gap uh, in between, oh, let's see, it was basically in between two ridges. It was like a mountain pass in between two ridges just before the um, Blood Mountain National Forest. And um, as we kind of come down off the ridge and we're coming into this pass, it, um, yeah, the, it's hard to describe, but the, just the air started to feel different, and things just started to get a little quiet, and it was just, you just kind of had this uneasy, just unsettling feeling, and when we got down into um, Jared Gap there, um, where we were going to camp, it just, it was just overwhelming. It was, uh, it was in the rocks, it was in the ground, it was in the trees, it's just, you just felt this almost pain or sorrow or it, it's really really weird um experience that night um and if i could have hiked any further i would have i wouldn't have hiked, i wouldn't have stayed there that night um but um we were right at the beginning of the um blood mountain national forest so you can't hike in there unless you have a bear, bear canister so our plan was to hike to it and then hike all the way through it the following day um, to get to Neil's Gap. So, but um, yeah, so we just a strange night. It just, it just everything just felt off. And um, the following day, um, a hiker did a little bit of research and you know, found out a little bit about the history down here. But um, the um, the mountains down here in in uh, northern Georgia was um, was where the Cherokee Indians used to live back in the early 1800s and probably well, well before that as well but back in the 1830s um, the, uh, the US government decided to round up all the, uh, the Indians down here in the south and uh, march them all out to uh, Oklahoma so some reservations out there so I guess there was a lot of um, you know, fighting and a lot of a lot of um, bad things took place in those mountains. Um, I guess over a hundred thousand Indians uh, lost their lives during that time, back in the, between 1830 and 1850. Um, so 
that area we were in a couple nights ago, I mean, that was undoubtedly an area where um, some of that must have taken place because it was it was just very eerie, very lacking in life, and it, it, you just felt it, it. It was just heavy, and um, it's uh, when you lay in there and you tent it one or two in the morning and you can't sleep it's just uh, every noise just it just keeps you on edge so um, but yeah got through that <laughs> um, got the Niels Gap uh, like I said in Blairsville today just waiting out some rain um, gonna hit the trail this afternoon hopefully um, you really can't stay in a town more than a night um, you kind of get sucked in to having uh, you know a comfortable bed and hot meal, so you really gotta you really gotta get out there as much as you can. But uh, we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, week one trail MVP is uh, Gold Bond medicated powder. I gotta say, you know, good stuff. Uh, you can put it on your feet. You can uh, do whatever you want with the stuff. But uh, yeah, all right. We will talk to you later.